Source rocks are viable and all differ one to another. They are classified from the origin of the organic matter they contain. They have been classified into three types. Type 1 source rocks, in which the organic matter is mainly induced by algal origin. They are lipid-rich source rocks and are generally deposited in lacustrine environment. They tend to be the best crude productive source, but their production is limited by their generally low lateral extension. Type 2 source rocks, in which the organic matter is induced by phytoplankton. They are deposited in marine environments. They produce both oil and gas when thermally cracked during deep burial. As they are generally thick and extended laterally, they constitute excellent source rocks. Type 3. The organic matter comes from vegetal debris, which means they are of terrestrial origin. They are deposited in deltaic environments. They tend to generate monthly gas with associated light oil when thermally cracked during deep burial. Another crucial step is the expulsion of the hydrocarbons from the source rock. Due to their depositional setting, source rocks are generally fine-grained sediments and have low permeability. As a consequence, during the burial, the capillary pressure increases. The increase of internal pressure is additionally implemented by the hydrocarbon generation itself. The transformation of solid kerogen into liquid and gas is associated with increase of the molecular volume. When the pore pressure exceeds the mechanical strength of the rock, microfractures are generated. This is the hydraulic fracturing. Oil and gas will escape through these microfractures and will then circulate. It is the primary migration. Once the primary migration occurred, the migration of oil and gas from the source rock to the trap relies on a carrier system. This step is called the secondary migration. It requires geological feathers with hypermeability, which allows a sufficient capacity for the fluid flow. This system of drain includes porous and pervious rocks, fractured rocks or faults.